Point of Impact is a new four-part crime noir series from Image, uh, written by Jay Faber, which revolves around the murder of a young woman called Nicole Rafferty and the investigation that follows on afterwards. Now, the hook for this series is that it's not just the police who are investigating this crime. Yeah. There are three different parties who are trying to piece together the events that led to Nicole's untimely and rather brutal death. Yeah, I mean, I, I was a little concerned when I sort of checked it out before I read it that it was going to be a bit by the numbers. Yep. I mean, you know, young woman gets chucked off a building, let's figure out why. Seems pretty straightforward, <laughs> but as you say, it's that three-pronged investigation that actually puts this in a different place. Absolutely. Yeah. So you've got the detective who's leading the investigation, mm. who did actually know Nicole when she was alive. Yeah, you've got her husband, who's an investigative reporter, mm. so obviously he's in on the game. And you have Nicole's secret lover, mm. who just happens to be ex-military. <laughs> yeah, so he kind of fulfills that private detective yes. archetype in Strong many ways. Strong jaw, brooding eyes. Yeah, I mean, they are all kind of archetypes, mm. but it's actually their relationship with Nicole and the different images that they had of her that makes it interesting. Throw in a masked assailant and mm. a possible conspiracy, and as we said, only a four-issue run, yeah. and this title moves along at an absolute cracking pace. Yeah, I mean, it's not action-packed, no. is it? I mean, it's mostly just people talking. I mean, there is that one uh, fight that happens in this first cool. issue that I thought was really well drawn. I really, yeah. I really enjoyed that. But, I mean, it does still have a great sense of momentum to it. It yeah. does. It's, it's more of a thriller than it is an action Absolutely. Yeah. But that fight scene in issue number one mm. is spectacular. You yeah. can almost feel the impact of yeah. those punches. It's the one he just gets oh, right in the face. It's I, brutal. Yeah, that was good. Kore Kurinel. Sorry if I've mispronounced your name, mm -hmm. but he is a relative newcomer in the comic book world and yeah. he has done an absolutely fantastic job with the artwork in this series. Yeah, I mean, I love it. I, I thought to start with that it was a little bit too Sin City ish, yep. but I think that was just the second second page. There's just this one image where Nicole's done her swan dive onto the top of a car. It's nasty. And it's the framing, it's the fact that it's in black and white, it's the content mm -hmm. that all put it in that kind of Sin City area for it me. Did. Once I was a few more pages in, I could see that Coronel really does have his own very individual style. He does, and it yeah. is a comic that really could only be done in black and white. Oh, absolutely. Really, yeah, it, there's, it no, there's, there's no there's no colour in this. There's some black and white ones where it feels like they just haven't coloured it in yet. <laughs> this one, just the use of shadow and everything, it had to be done this yeah. way. Now, look, mm. overall, there is no fault for me with the artwork or mm. the story. I'm really into this. You've got conspiracy theories, you've got crime noir, you've got fantastic artwork. Mm. It's a buy from me, definitely. Yeah, yeah, look, I do really enjoy these short runs that tell their story at yep. a breakneck pace, gets you done, you're out of there. You know, I always <laughs> enjoy that. I mean, this one, it's its not reinventing the genre, no. but it's given a little tweak that makes it really interesting. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm definitely, I mean, it's not a big investment of my time. It's only four issues. I'm definitely going to buy this one. Excellent.